The holiday season is upon us and the coolest thing you can do is put under the Christmas tree a handmade gift. But what about the Christmas tree itself? I think it deserves a few little handmade things as well. In today's episode, we are going to learn how to make these cute little Christmas baubles together. So stay tuned and let's get to it. You're going to be needing a hook 2.5 millimeter or a US size B1 to C2, one skein of Friends Cotton 8.4, a ball or filling, a pair of scissors, glitter yarn, it can be Nora Madeira or Cocktail Deluxe, and don't forget a scissor and a darning needle. All the products are linked in the video description. We start with this beautiful red Christmas color. We're gonna start off by making a magic ring and if you don't know how to make one, just click the link above to learn how to do one. And then we continue by crocheting six single crochets inside the magic ring. Insert the hook into the magic ring, yarn over and pull up a loop. And then you're gonna yarn over again and pull through both loops on the hook. That was the first single crochet and you're gonna have to do five more of those. And here are my six single crochets. There you go, four, five and six. Now we're going to tighten our magic loop. Just hold on to what you've crocheted so far with your two fingers and pull gently on the thread. Now we're moving on to the second round and you're gonna have to work two single crochets in each stitch around. This means that your six stitches will turn into 12 stitches. So this is what it looks like and as you can see, the circle is slowly growing. Now we're moving on to the third round. You are going to crochet one single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch. Then you're going to repeat this, one single crochet and then two single crochets in the next stitch, all around your circle until you have 18 stitches. Here's one single crochet and the second single crochet in the same stitch. And one more round, one more round, one more round. From now on, we will keep increasing, meaning that we will work more single crochets between each increase. And that increase is the two single crochets in the next stitch. So on the fourth round, you're gonna be working one single crochet in the next two stitches, and then two single crochet in the next stitch. And then you're gonna repeat this around. Then in the fifth round, you're gonna be working one single crochet in the next three stitches and two single crochets in the next stitch until you have 30. In the sixth round, you're gonna be working one single crochet in the next four stitches and two single crochets in the next stitch until you have 36 stitches. And then in the seventh one, you're gonna be working one single crochet in every fifth stitch, two single crochets in the next stitch around until you have 42 stitches. And in the eighth round, one single crochet in the next sixth and two single crochets in the next stitch until you have 48 all around. Up until the 17th round, you're gonna just simply be working single crochets all around the 48 stitches. And now it's kind of starting to look like a Christmas bubble and that's, that's a good sign. Now on the 18th round, we're gonna work one single crochet in the next six stitches, and then we're gonna work two single crochets together. Insert your hook in the next stitch, but do it through the front loop. And then in the next stitch, do the same. Insert your hook through the front loop of your following stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops. All right, let's do that one more time. So insert your hook through the front loop of the next stitch, then insert your hook through the next stitch, but also on the front loop, yarn over and pull through all the loops. Now you can insert your styropore ball, or you can also recycle an old Christmas bauble or wait a little bit later if you're gonna be using filling. Now we're doing round 19 and we're gonna be working one single crochet in the next five stitches and then two single crochets together through the front loop like we just saw earlier. And then you repeat this all around 
uh, the project until you have 36 stitches. And from now on, in our next four rounds, what we're going to be doing is we will keep decreasing, meaning that we will work fewer single crochets between each decrease, which are the two single crochets together through the front loop. I'm going to add my filling inside right now. I have just worked one single crochet in the next stitch and then I did two single crochets together through the front loop. I have 12 stitches remaining. In round 24, I'm going to be working two single crochets together through the front loop until I only have six stitches remaining. Let's cut it off. And now before I sew up the hole, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of an extra uh, filling inside so that my bobble gets more round and, and a little bit more pretty, I guess. <laughs> and then we're gonna weave in in the end. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a darning needle and attaching the long tail that we hopefully left. I forgot to mention that before, but you're gonna attach uh, the long tail to your darning needle and then you're gonna go with your darning needle through the front loop of every single stitch you have remaining. Once you're done with that, you are going to um, weave in the, the tail and cut it off. No worries, you are almost there. Now we're going to be working the top and I'm working with a Cocktail Deluxe for a bling bling effect. Let's go. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be working one single crochet all around in the round number 23. So that means 12 stitches around. We're going to be working one single crochet. Let's go. And when you reach your beginning, you're going to be working another round of single crochets. Um, and then we're actually going to be working a third round as well and a fourth round. So let's go. Now, once we're done with these four rounds, what we're going to do is we're going to finish off the same way as we finished the bubble itself. So we're going to go with our darning needle through the uh, front stitches and then we're going to finish it off. And I'm actually going to leave in a small little string for suspension uh, before I close everything off. If you're interested in probably making a multicolored bobble or some that has some beautiful little embroidery, just make sure you download the pattern from the description box and check it out there. And it's done. Let's cut it off. Schnip, schnap, schnap. There we go. And this is our Christmas bubble finished. It is absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to make a few more, but right now I'm gonna run to the Christmas tree to put it on. <laughs> For more Christmas tutorials, you're gonna find them up in the right corner. So make sure you click and check them out as well. And that was all for today. I hope you liked this tutorial. So remember to smash that like button and also subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. All right guys, Merry Christmas.